Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Begood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going way better than fantastic. And your journey to self-betterment is going way better than fantastic as well. Today I wanted to talk about something very important. Because even if you know this fact. It's so easy to fall back into this trap. Even with new people that enter your life. Or old people that are already in your life. And that is the narcissist. Wants you to believe that all the bad happenings in your relationship with them. Is your fault. And how they do this is very sneaky and they don't do it in most cases in a. Overt manner. Now they can do it in an overt manner where they scream at you and say. This that and the other is your fault. But before they get you to the point where you have nowhere to go. And they can actually do such evil overt behavior and actions towards you. They will usually do it passive aggressively and overtly. One example is they love to ask your opinion about certain things. And now they have stopped doing so. And they will purposely ask someone else for their help and or opinion right in front of you. And though they may have yet to down you to your face about your opinion or help. They haven't called you a name. Or even said a bad word towards you. But they know or at least hope. That you will start to second guess and sit and think and think and think. If you did something wrong to cause this shift in your relationship with this person. They hope you go back in your mind six months to three years if you have to. To think back and see if you said or did something wrong that would cause them to behave in this manner towards you. And though someone that has been in your life for a long time can and will do this to you if they are a narcissist or another toxic type. This is super common for a disordered person to do this to you when you are first getting to know them. Let's say as another example. You go to a certain small coffee shop every Sunday morning. To get your coffee and maybe a small healthy snack. And three months ago. Another person there struck up a conversation with you. And every Sunday. They come by your table or you go by theirs to sit down and visit. Maybe you might even play a quick game of cards with this person. You thought wow. I have a new coffee buddy. And then one day they come into the coffee shop. They walk right past your table as if you aren't there. And they sit down at another person's table and hang out with them. They maybe play a quick game of cards with them as they enjoy their conversation and coffee. What would most people that are in this metaphoric scenario think and feel? And what most people will feel and think about is. Did I say or do something that upset this person? And true enough some people can say and do terrible things that make us not want to deal with certain people at all. But if you are a good natured person. And you didn't say anything offensive. There's still a big chance you or anyone else will still search in your mind and will break down every conversation you had with this person. Trying to figure out. What did I say to make this person walk right past me like they don't even know who I am? Well the truth is this is a tactic. It's a tactic. Because if you fall into this trap. Your self esteem can take a big hit. And you might even find yourself trying to apologize for something you have no idea what you are apologizing for. Such as. Maybe the next week comes. And they are about ready to walk past you again. And you stop them and say. Did I say or do something wrong? Are you upset at me for some reason at all? Now no matter if they say yes or they say no. They know they have you where they want you. Because they know you've been thinking about it this entire time. And if they can with this one passive aggressive action to get you to second guess everything you've said to them. If your relationship continues they can eventually turn into the person that is calling you names. That can and will scream at you. That will overtly say this that and the other is your fault. And the reason why they can is because they know you will take it. 
so if this ever happens, it's okay to self-reflect. But don't sit and stay stuck in it. If you do a quick scan and you can't think of anything you said or did, that would cause someone to act like this. There is a huge chance you didn't do anything wrong. And all that is happening is they are taking you along a course that will leave you believing everything is your fault when it's not. When it's not. Has something like this happened to you? Let's talk about it. With that said, I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.